To remember, Fleet Week and the Air Show at the Inner Harbor draws tens of thousands of people downtown. Today, the final ships that sail out of the harbor. WJC is live at the harbor right now. Rick Ritter has more on the event, already being called a huge success. Rick. Well, Vic, it's pretty quiet out here right now. Obviously, over the weekend, it was a much different story. Organizers say the event was beyond a success and brought out crowds they haven't seen in years. From the big ships to the massive crowds. It was seven days downtown that didn't disappoint. Pretty awesome. Headlined by the Blue Angels. Maryland Fleet Week and Air Show put Baltimore in the national spotlight. There was two well, like angels. It was like flying into the air, and then, then it was going up to the sky, and then it was going back down. The event took over the harbor with dozens of Coast Guard and Navy ships on full display. I'm a Navy reservist, and I wanted my kids to see stuff I used to do back in my younger days. Drawing 500,000 plus visitors to the city, an economic impact that's hard to put a price on this early. I've been around the Inner Harbor for a long time, and I haven't seen it this crowded in years. Organizers say the event was such a great success for the city, they're now looking to host it every two years. Look for another Maryland Fleet Week and Air Show Baltimore in 2018. Some can't wait that long. Hoping the week's success attracts similar events back to Charm City. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. They need to bring more things like this to Baltimore. Baltimore City Police did increase security throughout the week, including using their air surveillance program. Police say there were no major incidents or arrests. Reporting live tonight, I'm Rick Ritter, WJZ Eyewitness News. Rick, thank you. The Baltimore Running Festival was also held this weekend, and event organizers say contributes $40 million to the local economy.